So you might be trying to figure out how you can change the screensaver on your specific iPhone. Now, doing this is very basic. Again, if you have an iPhone like the iPhone 14 Pro or one of these types of devices, you basically have the always on display. Now, if you want to enable your always on display, go inside of your iPhone settings. You want to scroll down until you see display and brightness, which is right here. And right under where it says something like always on display, you just want to go ahead and make sure this is enabled. And you also want to go where it shows show wallpaper and show notifications, you can toggle those on. But make sure you have show wallpaper if you actually want to go ahead and show your wallpaper and you want to have a screensaver kind of thing on. Now, at this point, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and make your way over into your lock screen. So you can go ahead and make your way over to your lock screen like this, or you can go into wallpaper settings under settings. And you want to go ahead and hold down your wallpaper like this. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and add a wallpaper. So now what we can do is we can go and choose a specific wallpaper or photo or whatever we want. So in this case, if we go under photos, I'm sure I can try to find a wallpaper that I've made before. So in this case, we have this wallpaper that I had a while ago. And if you want to download it, there's probably a link in the description somewhere. But then what you want to do is you want to go and click add once you figure out the widgets and everything like that. And then whenever you're ready, you can go and click here. And then that's it. So now if I click into here, now every time I basically go ahead and basically get into my focus mode right here, if I go and turn on do not disturb mode, you should see that my wallpaper will basically always be there on my specific phone. So it's a little hard to tell. Maybe you can tell over the camera a little bit, but that's basically how it showcases. And that's pretty much how it's done. It's a very, very basic process. But also keep in mind that if you do have do not disturb mode on or anything like that, and just like how I had it on right here, just keep in mind that that's not going to go ahead and show the wallpaper. It's just going to show the always on display, which is kind of cool too. But that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.